It's a crime that is forever linked with the street name where the bodies fell. Danzig, the worst shooting in Toronto's history. 23 people caught in the crossfire of a gang shootout at a community barbecue. 14-year-old Cheyenne Charles and 23-year-old Joshua Yasse died. Today marks the five-year anniversary. Now, Angie Hutchinson was one of those shot. Her life has been changed forever. She's never spoken publicly about that night, nor has she been back to Danzig until today. And when you're walking through here, does it all come flooding back? There and go further. Oh, yeah, for sure. It was something out of the movie. Everybody was crying. I was hearing screaming. Do you know exactly where you were in this area? I, I believe I was around like either this backyard or this one, just standing on the fence here, just watching. I'm trying to imagine in this area, hundreds of people, tons of people, people were being trampled. I just started seeing bodies just dropping, just dropping. Like people are just pushing other people, stepping over other people. Angie runs for her life and then feels a sharp pain in her leg. And my friend was like, you were, you're shot, you're shot, Angie. And I look down, I see my leg, I see this big hole. I remember someone carrying me over to the side where all the ambulances were and all the police and everyone was. What was going through your mind? Why me? That was what was going through my mind. Why me? Why is this happening to me? Angie had come to the barbecue with two other friends who also didn't walk out unscathed. Two of my friends actually got shot as well. Wow. Yeah. Where did they get shot? Um, one in the arm and um, one in the chest. Angie still has the physical reminder. You could still see the scar right here. And in the early days after the shooting, she struggled with the emotional scars as well. Even when I thought I was fine, I still wasn't fine. Like hearing loud noises, everything would, would trigger me and I would, I would feel scared. So it happened right there. Yeah. And this is where you're running through. Do you, mm -hmm. do you remember yep, that? I remember. With this weekend's five year anniversary, Angie feels it's time to break her silence and force herself to walk down the very path that changed her life. At first I was thinking, why me, why me? But then I turned it around, okay, this is happening to me for a reason because I'm supposed to take this experience and I'm supposed to use it to help others. 25 year old Angie has dedicated the last five years of her life to doing just that. I've worked at different shelters, different group homes. Um, I've been an advocate for elderly people, for youth. Um, I volunteered at different nonprofit organizations. I even started a, my own nonprofit organization for girls in a priority neighborhood that I once grew up in. And I've just been trying to do a lot in the community, trying to give back. If that bullet had been up a little higher. Exactly, I couldn't, I, I might not have been here. So I just have to look at the fact that I could have died. There's 200 people here, 23 people were, were victims and two were, were dead, you know, because of this. And it's like, why was my life spared? I feel like I'm here for a purpose. Angie's organization is called Sisterhood. You can connect with her on Instagram at sisterhood.to. Angie contacted us to break her silence and to send the message that no matter what happens, no matter your own suffering, you can take that pain and use it to help others. If you have a story you want told, this is how you can reach us. I'm Avery Haynes, City News.